Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates for you, okay? So keep that in mind. <laughs> this is just an energy of something that is coming in usually within the next couple of days, could be up to a week or whenever. You can go through the daily vibe playlist and pick one, and I bet you anything it would resonate for you at the right time whenever you pick it, okay? You could just pick one, I bet you it would be your reading. Anyhow, um, there's something I wanted to say. Oh, I don't know if you guys all saw the uh, video, the dark side of tarot or something like that from uh, the Real Housewives of Tarot. If you haven't, I would check that out because it's, uh, you know, it's very informational and I think that it could probably help you to uh, make some decisions in your life that you've been, uh, trying to ignore uh anyhow real housewives of tarot she did a, a little talk uh two days ago if you're interested in watching it it may help you to break free from some of your attachments um if you're interested in breaking free from some of your attachments um her name is molly she's a scorpio and she is a beautiful person and she's very intuitive she's here to help um I would suggest that you give that a look if you're trying to heal from something, you know? Uh, anyhow, so what do we have for a message today? Thank you, Molly, for doing that video. Only some will get it, which I'm sure that you know, and that's why you did the video. Some will totally be in denial and they will say, I am love, but they're still attached. To the dark side of tarot. What do we have for a message today? How do they feel about you? How do you feel about you? What do we have for a message today? Five of Pentacles reversed. The Five of Pentacles reversed is perhaps things are gonna get better. This can be total ruin. Financial ruin, financial burdens, financial lack, or if it's not financial, this can be somebody that has been ghosted, they've been abandoned, they've been neglected, they've been left out in the cold. This can be extreme lack, or it can be things getting better now. There's obviously been some struggles. There's been conflicts, there's been struggles, there's been lack, there's been neglect, there's been ghosting or loss. Somebody has lost something that they had. They were struggling, really struggling with the loss. Maybe refusing to accept it or not wanting to accept it, right? Maybe help is available, but somebody didn't want to get the help or they didn't want to see that there was help available or something like that. Anyhow, Five of Pentacles Reverse is typically relief starting to see some sort of relief. Ooh. Magician reversed and the high priestess. So the magician reversed is a no answer, lack of success, unplanned loss. This is a loss of a golden opportunity. It really is. We saw that in the card of the day yesterday. There's been an abuse of power. This is the dark side of tarot. Well, my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow.
Somebody has abused their power. That is the magician reversed. That's an abuse of power. It's mental manipulation. Abuse their gifts. Use their spiritual, so their spirituality per se, to abuse. This is a master manipulator. Master, okay? Pathological liar. This is somebody that is very convincing. This is somebody that has a dysfunctional mind that will do anything to manipulate. This is abuse. This is an abuse of power. No, 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 no. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. If you feel like somebody is lying, listen to it. Beware of abuse, okay? Beware of lies. Beware of a trickster. This is a trickster. This is somebody that, you know, does not have good intentions. Very convincing, pathological liar that somebody believes their own lies. It's really easy to convince others when you believe it too. <sighs> the high priestess is about listening to yourself, listening to your intuition, listening, you know, taking a step back to observe and reflect and take it all in. If you have been in a place of lack, if you have been left out in the cold, okay, if you've been abandoned, maybe you need to go in a different direction, completely different direction. Listen, please. Pay attention. Are you being lied to? And this could be from anybody. This is a bully. This is somebody that, you know, is abusive, manipulative. Now this can be total ruin, it can be total loss. Anything in reverse is an extreme. You have to listen to your own gut. Do not listen to people that abuse you and whether it's a tarot reader or it's a person in your life there is somebody in this situation with a magician reverse that is abusive mentally physically <laughs> verbally Beware. Look deeper. That's what the high priestess does. Look deeper. At who you're dealing with. Why are you in a place of lack? Is there somebody in your life that is manipulating you and you know it? You know it? Magician reverse and the high priest is manipulating you and you know it. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment, deep satisfaction, celebrations, having it all. There has been lack. 
This is coming out of lack. Somebody is going to be coming out of lack. It's time to celebrate, right? It's time to have it all. It's time for some abundance. It's time to celebrate. It's time to get out there. It's, it is. Take a look at this card. We got the eight cups walking away from something that has abandoned you, neglected you, or has caused you so much lack, whether it's a relationship or a job or whatever it is, brings wish fulfillment. The eight cups are in the front. She's pouring a new cup. That's a new cup. It's a new love. It's a new opportunity. Okay? Eight of Cups comes before it. Yes, there's disappointment here. Once you face it, once you stop living in lack, once you follow your intuition and stop denying, stop ignoring, stop allowing people to manipulate you, whether it's this person that abandoned you or it's another person giving you poor advice, whatever it is, once you completely walk away, there's a new opportunity here. You see that one cup? That cup is being filled. There's an opportunity for deep fulfillment here, but the Eight of Cups is it comes before it, okay? You have to walk away. You can't look back. You have to pour that new cup. You have to fill up your cup, okay? You have to be ready. You have to be ready. You have to walk away completely from anything that is bringing you lack. You cannot go back to it. You cannot. You cannot allow yourself to be manipulated and tricked by somebody that does not have good intentions for you and you know it. There's definitely an opportunity for happiness here. That Ace of Cups is right there. There's an opportunity for love. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. You have to listen to your own intuition. Stop letting manipulators have the power over you, the control over you. If somebody is using you, they're manipulating you for money or, or just because they have some sort of power over you. No. You need to say no. You need to say no. <laughs> I know. I do know. I know. Listen. Listen. Really pay attention. What is wish fulfillment to you? What is happiness to you? Living in lack? Being abandoned? Being ghosted? Waiting for somebody to come save you when you can save yourself? What are you listening to anyway? The high priestess knows, okay? A real high priestess knows, listens to their intuition, observes and reflects. It's time for you to think about your wish fulfillment. Think about your happiness. Think about your lack. Think about the abandonment. Honestly, be honest with yourself. Happiness, it's not a cups, it's happiness, it's deep fulfillment, okay? It's wish fulfillment, it's deep fulfillment, it's extreme happiness. Comes from within. Deep happiness, deep fulfillment comes from within. How do they feel about you? Doesn't come from them. Those people are manipulating you. To stay in a place of lack?
after this we're going to do another reading on Patreon, another daily. We'll see what happens. I won't be given the same spiel. Obviously this needed to come out according to the cut. That was a dark side. Oh, yes, this is wish. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. This is about manifestation. Happiness, extreme happiness. Yes, it's time to take action. You take your power back. You take control. Magician is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. That is what the magician is. You have the power. Okay, you're in control. You have to take action. This is new beginnings. All the aces are in this card. There's an opportunity here for, you know, a new love, a new solid opportunity, a new passionate opportunity, a new truth. This is a revelation. It is an epiphany. It's a realization. Going in a new direction, taking action, putting yourself out there, getting on the stage, believing, listening, using your resources, finding your resources to take action in regards to your wish fulfillment. Yes, there's an opportunity here for wish fulfillment. You know it. But if you're allowing yourself to be manipulated by somebody, whoever this person, because there is manipulation. We saw that at the beginning. You are going to lose a golden opportunity for happiness in wish fulfillment. There is somebody here that has manifested something through their thoughts. This is an opportunity that can make you very happy. Look at the majors. The hermit is hibernation thinking I said manifested something through their thoughts this is seeing the light it's waking up this is an awakening both these cards waking up seeing the light knowing look at the, oh my god this is gaining some sort of intuitive wisdom this is intuitive wisdom Listening, a direct connection to source. That's what the magician is. Listening, awakening, waking up, listening, going within, reflecting. We have a lot of reflecting and observing going on here. Going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody is waking up. We're going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody is definitely waking up. They've been in a place of lack. I don't know if this has been like the last five years or what. Or it could be more. Thinking, going within, reflecting, soul searching. Really observing. If not, it's time. It's time for you to look deeper. Look deeper. Really observe what happiness is to you. What is wish fulfillment? Is wish fulfillment somebody a bit that abandons you, that doesn't help you, that leaves you in a place of lack? Is that wish fulfillment? Is wish fulfillment getting just enough, just enough, but not having it all? Is that wish fulfillment? Or do you want to have it all? 
It's action time. Magician is act now. Listen. You know what you need to do. It's time. If you want to be successful, you have to listen. You have to listen to your gut. There's definitely somebody here that is observing. They're observing from afar. Seizing a new opportunity. Somebody is going to be taking a new opportunity. They either didn't want it or they ignored it or something like that in the past. This is I didn't want it or I'm ignoring it, or I'm not interested, or for one reason or another, this is taking it, I'm gonna take it. Somebody's gonna be, somebody's being guided to take a new opportunity. We have Gemini, we have Virgo. This is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. This is a wake up call. This is an epiphany. This is communication. It's doing something. Somebody has been divinely guided. They've been soul searching. They've been observing and reflecting. If not, that's what you need to do. Look deeper, look deeper, look deeper at a situation. There's a new opportunity here. You have to walk away from something that is causing you lack. You have to, you have to. You know what this is. <laughs> oh God, you have to walk away from something. What, you keep thinking about it? Oh, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna think about it. You gonna think about it forever? This is staying put. The Eight of Cups reverse. In a dissatisfying situation where there's illusion and fantasy. Looking at all the options, right? But staying put, not leaving, taking plenty of time, over time, to think about it, you know? Do I stay or do I go? Do I stay or do I go? My advice is to take the new opportunity. Stop wasting your time on a pipe dream. Listen. Somebody has been thinking about making a bold move. There's been manipulation, there's been a lot of lies. They're really, really thinking now. Really, they're receiving lots of intuitive messages. And when I say they, I'm talking about you. Not them. They're focusing on you. Because that's who you're supposed to be focusing on. All three of these cards right here are about self. All three of them. What is happiness? What is wish fulfillment? Think about it. Listen, it's action time. You have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. There is a new opportunity here for sure. Absolutely there is for wish fulfillment. 
to come out of lack. But you have to walk. You have to take action. You have to believe in yourself. You have to put yourself out there. It's obviously not going to be easy. There's hard work ahead. You have to put in the effort, okay? You need to get to work, okay? You need to do it. It's not going to be easy. There is a new opportunity right around the corner. There is. You, gotta, you can't keep hiding. You can't keep hiding. You have to come out of hiding, okay? You can't keep hiding behind your own victim mentality because that's what the Five of Pentacles is. Now I'm gonna do an extended on Patreon. There is a new opportunity here. Somebody probably is being divinely guided to seize a new opportunity. They've been going back and forth with it. I do believe we have somebody here that is about to do something because the, the magician is an action card. It's time. It's time for you to take action. You have to be willing. Maybe you've been praying, right? You've been isolated. You've, there's been a time of healing, you know. You've been alone, you know, and you've been healing. And it's been, there's been a lot of coldness. And there's been a lot of lack. And there's been a lot of abandonment, whatever, you know. You've been stuck. There is definitely a new opportunity here. There is. To come out of lack, you need to take it. Good luck.